Get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the spiritual home of Cyclone Promotions. We are delighted to be back here in Belfast, Northern Ireland. So this is the first press conference as the journey continues for Carl the Jackal Frampton. We'll be over in LA in two days time for the American leg of the press conference. On Saturday the 28th of January 2017, Ringstar Sports in association with Cyclone Promotion and Tom Brown's TGB Promotions are very proud to present Frampton versus Santa Cruz 2 for the WBA Featherweight Championship of the World. It's live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, broadcast on Showtime. In attendance today, we have the CEO of Ringstar Sports, Mr. Richard Schaefer. Thank you. We have the manager. Yeah, I think you're right, buddy. I think you're right. Thank you. We have a very knowledgeable and very polite boxing to it. That's very, very nice. Good. I love it. Very knowledgeable. We have the manager of Carl Frampton, Hall of Fame world champion, Barry McGuigan. <laughs> We have the man who I like to call the face of boxing, because if you see boxing from the States, you'll see this man from Team Heyman. Please welcome to Belfast, Mr. Sam Watson. <laughs> and a man who needs little introduction, but he's going to get it anyway, Carl's trainer, Shane McGuigan. <laughs> So before we meet the boxers, very important ticketing information, ladies and gentlemen, tickets will be available from 5pm this afternoon. Ticketing agents are Axis, that's A-X-S dot com. You will find them directly on their website. If you do go to the MGM website, they will redirect you to the Axis website. There's a map on the Axis website and it clearly shows you the Frampton and Santa Cruz fan zones. So you can select where you want your tickets to be. I think we can guess where all oh, you want your tickets to be. <laughs> Prices start from only $54. They go up 104, 204, 304, 404, and 504, plus access booking fee. Now, for VIPs only, please contact Cyclone Promotions on their website or on the Cyclone Promotions telephone number. For large groups of over 15, we're told that the website can handle 15. For over 15, it's the MGM office, so you've got to contact. Numbers will be on the websites, but if you have a pen, a bit of paper, or a fantastic memory, here it is. It's 001-702-891-3150. That's Pacific time. They're open at 11 till 4 Pacific time. Back here, that means they're open from 3 in the morning till 8 in the morning. So get up early, call the site. Right, ladies and gentlemen. That's the official part over. Now time to meet the boxers. Would you please welcome the challenger? 34 contests, 32 wins, 18 inside the distance, only one draw, one defeat. He debuted in 20, 2006 and in 2012 took his first world crown, moved up in weight in 2013, took his second weight world crown, and in 2016 he took the WBA featherweight crown from Kiko Martinez in February. He then faced our very own Carl Frampton in July. We all know the result. The rematch is scheduled for the 28th of January 2017. Would you please welcome to Belfast three-weight world champion from the USA by way of Mexico, El Terremoto, Leo Santa Cruz. Selfies and 
just ladies and gentlemen, the guys have got to be in uh, Los Angeles on, on Thursday, so, you know, if you don't mind, get a chance at the end. Come on, the jackal! <laughs> Here comes, ladies and gentlemen, Leo Santa Cruz. Right, sorry, no, no more photos, no later. more signatures. Later, later, guys. Later, later, later. Leo has to uh, come up to the top table. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Welcome to Melfast. Yeah. And now, ladies and gentlemen, time to welcome the champion, undefeated 23 and 0, 14 inside the distance. He debuted in 2009, took the Commonwealth and European Super Bantamweight crowns before in 2014 outdoors in front of 16,000 adoring fans and millions worldwide. He became the IBF Super Bantamweight champion of the world. Defended three times, adding the WEA belt to his collection before moving up to featherweight. Would you please welcome home to Belfast, the reigning, defending, WBA, featherweight champion of the world, Brad gentlemen there will be a stellar undercard to this fight including the man who in 2014 beat the now three-weight world champion Ricky Burns Montenegro's WBC world lightweight champ the undefeated Dejan Dynamite Zlatikanen puts his title on the line against former two-weight world champ also undefeated Mikey Garcia Scotland's rising star former Olympian and Commonwealth Games gold medalist Undefeated as a professional, perfect record, seven wins from seven contests, seven by way of KO. He's now the Commonwealth Super Lightweight Champion. The Tartan Tornado, Josh Taylor, will fight on American soil for the third time in his short career. But we'll hear more about that in the build-up. We're here to talk about these men, El Terremoto and the Jackal. They meet again in a rematch of that fantastic contest in New York back in July. This time, they meet in the boxing capital of the world, Las Vegas, Nevada, the MGM Grand Garden Arena. And as we can see here today, Carl Frampton brings a support that we haven't seen since Ricky Hatton was at his peak. Ladies and gentlemen, I think, please, give yourselves a fantastic round of applause. For so, we saw a significant Irish presence in uh, Brooklyn back in July. We expect more of the same and possibly a little bit more in, in Vegas. A town very familiar to Leo Santa Cruz. It's only a few hours from his home in LA. He's fought there six times. Cal Frampton will be stepping into a Vegas ring for the very first time. But we're confident that come the night, it'll feel a little bit like Ulster Hall with slot machines. <laughs> So a protocol will follow the press conference, then the boxers will be available for a collective with the media. Then to a tight schedule, the boxers have to leave at 2.15, so please <coughs> let me get questions, gentlemen, so that everybody has a fair shot. Before that, we will have press questions to the table, and can I ask you that you wait until I bring this roving microphone out so we can clearly hear the question as well as the answer. But for now, let's hear from the men at the table, starting with the man who has always championed, Carl Frampton, whom he has managed to see debuted way down the undercard of a British title fight in Liverpool 2009. This man lives every punch, thrown and taken. He is the founder of Cyclone Promotions. Please welcome to the podium, former world champion, Hall of Famer, Mr. Barry McGuigan.
Good morning. Uh, is it afternoon? It's afternoon. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you very much indeed for coming out to support us. Uh, and uh, I thank you for the warm welcome you give to Richard and for Leo and to Sam for coming the whole way across from uh, Los Angeles. We're going over there. We're going over there in a couple of days. So thank you very much. You're the best supporters in the world. We have no doubt about it. And uh, we're going out to Vegas to make sure that we win again and we win more convincingly. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, buddy. Uh, let's now hear from a man recognised and respected throughout the boxing world, making a very welcome return to boxing after a two-year hiatus. The co-promoter, CEO of Ring Star Sports, Mr. Richard Schaefer. Well, I was fortunate to promote many of uh, Ricky Hatton's fights and Floyd Mayweather's fights, but whenever I come here, I can feel the passion, the passion new fans bring to the sport, and I really appreciate that. I don't think there are any better fans than you guys. And I think you guys are bringing these fighters here from Ireland, from the UK as well. Really, you elevate them. You elevate them to do better, and I think that's what we've seen at the Barclay Center as well. You guys cheered on your guy, and he, became, he came out victorious. That was the fight of the year candidate. I think it's going to be the fight of the year. Styles make fights, and I think these two guys are made for each other. I know it's going to be a barn burner. It's going to be top to bottom, one of the best cards we've promoted. A fantastic card, and you heard it before, for as little as $50, you can see it live uh, from the MGM Grand. I don't think that's a bad idea to go in January. <laughs> January from cold Ireland to uh, warm Las Vegas, so I think there are many reasons to go there, but this one here really is the reason, a rematch of the fight of the year. I'm very proud to be able to promote this fight together with my co-promoter Barry McGuigan and Cyclone. They're a terrific team and I look forward to work with them on many more events. It's a pleasure to be here and thank you again for the passion you guys bring to the sport of boxing. Thank you, thank you Richard. Uh, and now, ladies and gentlemen, a man who is definitely cementing his place as one of the go-to trainers in the UK, if not the world. Just recently awarded the British Boxing Border Control Trainer of the Year for 2016. He's trainer to St. George Groves, trainer to two-way world champion David Hay and more. But he's here today to talk about his star pupil. So, to hear a bit from him. Certainly not to give the game plan away. Please welcome to the podium, Shane McGuigan. Thank you very much, guys. Um, yeah, I, mean, I don't know who was, was lucky enough to go and see the first fight between them. Um, it was a great fight. Carl, you know, he got dragged into to Leo's fight at times, but. With that came excitement, and I think you know this second fight's gonna we're gonna we're gonna beat him a lot more convincingly, and uh, you know, cement the win and then move on. But you know, it's, it's, I'm extremely excited about it, and to see how far he's come, he really is, is phenomenal. I hope you guys all buy that ticket and get out there to see him and support him. So he needs that support. So thank you very much, and look forward to seeing him tonight. <laughs> Uh, now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to hear from the challenger, former three-weight world champion from the USA by way of Mexico, El Terremoto, Leo Santa Cruz. Thank you for the you know, great receive. Uh, I'm very happy to be here, excited. Um, you know, you guys watched the first fight. It was a great fight. Um, and the second fight is going to be even better because, you know, I, I got my first defeat against a great fighter. And I want to get that rematch. I want to win, win the rematch. And hopefully I get the win and... The third fight, we could make it the third fight, and we could even come here. And I would like to have Adam in Belfast for the third fight. So I'm really good for that win. And 
Hopefully that night it goes my way and we get the third fight and we, we make it a trilogy. So thank you guys. So thank you to El Santa Cruz, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear from this man, two-weight world champion, the defending WBA featherweight champion of the world. The Santa Cruz here. It's great for the people of Belfast. I think to see a, a three-way world champion in the flesh and see a great fighter um, come over to Belfast. So thanks for coming, Leo. Um, this, this fight, I believe, is going to be uh, pretty similar to the first one. I think it's going to be a great fight. I just think that our our styles gel well together. Um, you know, me and Leo fight. Uh, hundred times it's always going to be a good fight um, I think this one could be even better um, you know he's coming he's I give him his first loss he'll be looking to um, get the, re the revenge but I'm training very hard I've already started sparring him and I'm in good shape for being so far from the fight um, I, feel, I believe if I use my brain a little bit more in it, this one and don't get dragged into a fight I can win it more convincingly but there will be times in this fight where you just have to bite down on your gum shield and fight like you know what. And, uh, and that's what I'm prepared to do. I'm, I'm prepared to do that. And, uh, give it me all to, to keep this title here in Belfast. And uh, then we'll be coming back and we'll, we'll, we'll have a show in Belfast in the, in the summer, I promise. So thanks, thanks everyone for coming for, 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 Right, ladies and gentlemen, we're now going to open the floor to press questions. Um, Barry, do you want to conduct for me and just tell me where to go? Yeah. I'll come down on the floor. Okay. Wait on the microphone, please, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, just state who you're from and who the question's to. All right. Uh, yeah, gentlemen, anybody? Uh, David Kelly. Uh, from the Belfast Telegram. Leo, uh, welcome to Belfast. Thank you. Leo, the first fight was so good because both of you were at the top of your game. What or how can you do anything different to change the result? Mm. <laughs> oh yeah, no, uh, for that fight, uh, uh, like I said, I don't, Carl Palmer is a great fighter, great champion. I know it's going to be a tough fight, and I don't like no putting no excuses, but, you know, for that camp, I didn't train as I was supposed to, you know. And my dad was going through cancer, so, you know, uh, I wasn't, 100% in the training, you know. Um, I was thinking about my dad, how he was gonna uh, react to the cancer, to the treatments and everything. My dad wasn't in, in training camp for a month and a half, so he was there like, only like the last three weeks of the camp. So he didn't really uh, came up with a great game plan, but for this one, we're gonna go with a great game plan. We're gonna train 100%. My dad's gonna be in the camp, the whole camp, and we're gonna go a lot better. And I know it's going to be another tough fight, another hard fight, really, really close fight, but we're hoping to get the victory and that's what we're going to look for. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy to add to that as well, that whether his cancer is in his session, yeah. so he's going to be there for the first time. Um, the tools, I know right there is a lot closer to my hometown, you know, I fight there a lot of times, I feel very comfortable fighting there, but you know, I think Carl Pender, he has a lot of fans, and I know a lot of people from here, they're going to fly over there, and then all the Irish people that are over there are going to go support him, so I think it's going to be a pretty even crowd, you know, maybe 50-50 crowd, and yes, I think he's going to have a lot of support, so I don't think, 
I don't see no kind of advantage. I use it that closer to my hometown. But rather than that, I think it's pretty even. Carl, your boxing intelligence is probably one of your best attributes. How much do you feel you can learn from the first encounter? I feel like no matter no matter who I fight or or spar, even I'm, I always get better the second time. I feel like I have, a, I have a good boxing brain that can adapt and I can understand their style and uh, I can use it to my advantage. Um, the only person that fought twice as a professional was Kiko Martinez and I was much more comfortable in the second fight. Um, but if you, if you see me in, in sparring, um, if I maybe have a dodgy first spar with a, with a sparring partner, I always improve the, the second time. I think it's going to be the same in the fight though. I know how Leo fights, and, and he knows how I fight as well. Um, but I, I can adapt and I can make adoptions, and uh, it may take that. You know, if, I, if I'm a bit more clever, you know, I get dragged into a fight a little bit. Um, but if I use my brain a bit more this time, I believe that I can win the fight more convincingly. just said, you know, that, that his preparations were, you know, disrupted uh, last time around. Do you expect him to, to bring more to the table, or you know, do you feel that you do, if you produce, reproduce what you did in New York, you know, the result will be the same, or even more convincing? Uh, it's difficult. Uh, obviously, he went through a, a difficult time with, with his father's illness. Um, no doubt that, that Leo trained hard, um, but he threw over a thousand punches in that last fight. Um, he threw a lot, he was very fit, he was punching right to the end. Um, you, know, there's not, you, you can't throw much more than a thousand punches um, in a fight. I don't think that he's going to um, improve his work rate. He may, he may come up with a bit of a different game plan, but whatever, whatever he comes up with, I, I genuinely believe that I've got it in my head. I know how he fights and I'll be able to deal with it. And uh, you know, the plan is to win first and foremost. This, I'm not, I don't think it's going to be an easy fight, it's going to be a very difficult fight like the first one. But I'll do whatever it takes to win, and, and I believe I will. Carl, just over here, Sherman Wright, uh, Ballymena the Sports Network Television. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, Carl, obviously you're uh, making the Edinburgh very, very proud of the company, of your efforts, and uh, obviously the training camp that you've been involved in has been absolutely exceptional. And the emotion and the passion that's in Belfast here today with the crowds of hundreds of people taking time out of their own day to uh, come along to see yourself and obviously the gentleman that is uh, Santa Cruz who's conducting himself absolutely fantastic and with part of respect. I hope you don't ask him a question because we're making it sound better. It's us also people, we move our hands very fast and we're also very fast when it comes. But Carl, the main question is obviously uh, you're looking forward to this fight and you're going to take the European belt. Obviously, Carl. That, that's, the <laughs> that's the plan. That's the plan. That's the plan. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be. It's going to be a good night, and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. That's the, what's the what's the definition of a, a of a, a, a rainy day? Who go outside as passion. Carl, you say you want to win this fight more convincingly. Do you believe you can knock Leo Santa Cruz out this time? Yeah. 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 Leo is a, is a tough guy. He's got a solid chin. Um, but I believe if, I believe if I can hit yeah. any featherweight, um, super featherweight, if I hit them clean, I can knock anyone out. That's no disrespect to Leo Santa Cruz. He's a, he's a, he's a warrior. And he's, a, he's a proper fighter. But I hurt him at times in that fight. And uh, I believe if I just nail him that little bit cleaner, then I, and then I could knock them out, but I'm preparing for a very, very long, hard 12 round fight. John Neal, Irish Boxing. Uh, your fight during the summer was your first upper featherweight and went straight in to the World Champion. Do you feel you adjusted more to weight by January? Yeah, probably. You know, it was my, it was my first fight um, at featherweight. I kind of. I feel like making Super Bantamweight for so long was taking something out of my performances. Um, my last few fights, although I was getting the wins, I wasn't performing like it did perform against Leo, so I was much more comfortable at Super Bantamweight, or sorry, at featherweight. And I feel that I'm just going to be even more comfortable again. Obviously, it's my second fight here. I'll have grew into the weight a little bit more. And uh, yeah, I think that I'll be, I didn't know what to expect. 
I'd fell away from my first fight. I didn't know how I was going how I was going to last the round, but now I know I can do it. I don't feel much more comfortable. Give him on Belfast Media Group. You've been in some big fight nights. You've been in Manchester, even Brooklyn, Titanic. One of the MGM Grand Las Vegas is something different. This is huge. Like you know, I I have been lucky enough. Obviously, the support back home is amazing. Even when I'm fighting guys in, in the Odyssey, Jeremy Parody, who a lot of people may not even remember, the atmosphere is incredible. But to be topping a bill in Madison Square Gardens now in Las Vegas against a great fighter, um, that's, that's a dream come true. And uh, that's one to remember for a very, very long time, you know. So Leo's been lucky enough to uh, fight in Vegas before. I don't, I, I'm not sure, I don't think he's topped the bill, so that'll be the first time. He's topped the bill as well, and uh, I'm just excited about getting out there and, and feeling the buzz on fight week. Uh, Cormac Campbell, below the radar. You, you talk about growing into the weight. Is it that or shrinking down less? Yeah, probably shrinking down less. Um, I, I was, I, w I was affecting my performance with, with how much I was having to lose. The last few pounds making um, super phantom weight were, were not good for me, and. Uh, up at Feller weight, I feel much more just comfortable and strong, and I done the weight a lot easier. Um, so you know what you're talking about, Cormac. I think it's just shrinking a bit less rather than, than growing into it. <laughs> right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have a photo call in a moment. We've got time for maybe another two, three press questions. Ruth, yeah, yeah. Uh, Leo, you said um, after the, the first fight that you believed the crowd helped sway the judge's decision. When you watch that fight back, do you think you should have won it? Uh, the, the, you know, uh, I don't think I, I'm sure I've won it, but you know, it was a pretty close fight. It could have gone you know, either way or even a draw. And maybe uh, I say that the crowd, he had a bigger crowd right there, and there were a lot of Irish people. So every time like, he would hit a punch or anything, the crowd screamed or they got excited. And for me, it wasn't really that much of a crowd, but you know, I don't say like say I don't think nothing away from Hamden. It was really good fight, close fight, and like I say, it could have gone either way. Guys, anybody? Ladies and gentlemen, I think that's it for press questions. The guys want to hold their questions for uh, a little one to ones later. We are going to move the tables, ladies and gentlemen, and have a photo call. After the photo call, um, the, the, your best exit is, is down that way, because we've got to clear the front for the one-to-one -one with the media. But can I just, on behalf of Barry, on behalf of Carl, on behalf of Richard, on behalf of Leo, thank you all for proving what I told Leo. I said to him, the Belfast crowd, one of the most respectful boxing crowds in the world, and you have done it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, one more time, Leo Santa Cruz and Carl Alexa. Thank you.